Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to the Forgotten Film Channel. And today what we're going to talk about are survivor dogs. The Titanic set sail on April the 10th, 1912. On board were some of the most prominent members of society. But these people had luxury accommodations, gourmet meals, and activities to go along with their interests. And one of the scheduled activities was a dog show. Twelve dogs were entered in the show, and they were given a luxury first-class kennel. But three of these passengers refused to let their dogs stay in the kennels. They kept them right there in the cabins with them, a fact that was overlooked probably because the dogs were all small. On the night of April the 15th, the indestructible Titanic hit an iceberg and sank. As the lifeboats were being boarded, it was made very clear that even though these were first-class dogs, they were not coming onto those lifeboats. Now, however, these three little dogs did make it onto the lifeboats. The first dog was named Lady. She was a Pomeranian. She was purchased in Paris by Margaret Hayes. Uh, what Miss Hayes did was she wrapped her up in a blanket and she boarded a lifeboat number six. A lady must have been a really good dog and not made any noise because the passengers that were on that lifeboat with her just assumed that she was carrying a baby wrapped up in that blanket. Elizabeth Jane Rothschild also had a Pomeranian wrapped up in a blanket. She, she was on board lifeboat number seven. And when this boat was picked up by the Carpathian, they saw her dog and they got pissed off. The crew wasn't gonna let that dog come on board their ship, but Mrs. Rothschild had an absolute hemorrhage and the crew gave in and let her bring her little dog with her. The final survivor was a Pekingese. Little Sun Yat Sen was owned by Henry and Myra Harper. other dogs, they, along with 1,500 passengers, perished in the disaster. And one of the saddest stories, in my opinion, is that of Anne Ishram. Anne Ishram had a great dame, and she loved that dog. She visited it in the kennel, she personally walked it around the first class deck, more than likely kept it on deck with her when she was sunbathing and drinking and everything else that they did. When she got word that that ship was being evacuated, she went to the kennel and she got her dog. She got onto a lifeboat and she tried to bring him with her and everybody else was like, hell no, you are not bringing that dog onto this boat. <laughs> this is for people only. So she got pissed off and she got off of that lifeboat and refused to get back on it. A few days later, when a recovery ship was touring the wreckage site, it was reported that one of the bodies they recovered was of a woman that had her arms around a dog's neck. So, anyway. When I first read that, I wanted to cry. I thought that that was just so unbelievable. And then I came to my senses and realized this ship was in the middle of the ocean. Nobody was gonna come save them anytime soon. And it's understandable that people would feel that way. So I hope that you enjoyed this little bit of fun trivia, useless knowledge. And I wanna thank you for tuning into the Forgotten Film Channel. Have a great today and an even better tomorrow.